I gotta get a pop-up gizmo for the trailer. Tiny House Prepper. Hey everybody, I'm Bill with Tiny House Prepper. And we are here right now at my son's house for two weeks uh, for Christmas. And we are mooch docking in his driveway. We got the, the trailer plugged in, our, our RV cottage plugged into his house. And uh, we're not using water, we're just going in inside for the restroom and stuff, but we got, the, we got it plugged in. This is our first cold weather camping trip. And to be quite honest, I was really concerned and really kind of not knowing what's going to happen. Because as you can see, this is, this is a hybrid trailer, which means it's, it's a hard shell, it's got the slide out on it, but the bed is a fold out canvas bed like a pop up tent trailer. So I didn't know that what that was going to mean as far as the cold weather. Um, let me take you inside and, and show you what I'm talking about here. So this is the canvas covered fold out bed from the inside. And we also have over here a couch that folds out into a bed this way, just folds down. And a dinette that also folds down into a bed. So our plan was kind of, in the cold weather, instead of opening this up where the cold can come in through that thin canvas, we would leave that shut and we would use these beds. But both of these are a little bit short. We knew that. They're basically designed for kids. Uh, so the first night we both laid down, we folded them out. She was here, I was over there, and we laid down and after about 15 or 20 minutes we realized those just simply weren't going to work for us. They're too short, they weren't comfortable, they'd be fine for kids, but they just didn't work for us. So we went ahead and folded out the bed and I was very concerned, like I said, about what was going to happen with the cold weather. Well, the first couple days that we were here, it wasn't really that cold. Highs during the day were around 50, low 50s, and uh, the lows at night were about 40. So it really wasn't that cold. And we have a, a very good, very powerful propane furnace built in here to heat the place. So we had the propane running, and it was nice and warm and toasty in here, even with that bed folded out. <clears throat> the problem was the first two days that we were here, first 48 hours, it absolutely rained non-stop. So when we went to bed at night we were sleeping out there and uh, it was about it, the lows dropped down to about 40 like I said. There was so much condensation on the underside of that the canvas roof and I think it was probably because of the cold rain beating on the top of the canvas it really kind of brought the cold home more. And there was so much condensation there up underneath that it was dripping on us all night. And we got up in the morning and everything was soaked and we had to bring them in and lay them all out here and get them all dried out. And I thought, man, what are, what are we going to do? This just simply isn't going to work. And then the next day it stopped raining and it got much colder. And basically most of the condensation quit. The worst condensation was when it was raining, that cold rain. Last night it went down to about 25 and we were actually comfortable out there with the heater going all night. Here in the main part of the cabin it was probably 75 degrees because I turned it up a little. And out there and they, with just the canvas it was probably about 50 maybe. Which you know with we had three blankets on and that was fine. We slept very comfortably all night. And I woke up in the morning and there was still condensation on there but it was you couldn't see it at all. When it was raining you could see the drops of condensation all over the roof. You couldn't see it but if you ran your hand across you could feel that it was wet. So there was definitely some condensation there. <clears throat> um, but it wasn't nearly as bad and that really made me feel much better. Now we got two days of rain coming again tomorrow so we'll see what happens. 
but I was very pleasantly surprised with how warm we were able to stay out in that cold canvas room when it's 25 degrees outside and we were still nice and toasty warm under a couple of blankets and with the heater in here running so uh, it's definitely doable but but the, the, the problem is the condensation so a number of people have actually made comments that we need to get what's called a gizmo a pop-up gizmo and I had already seen that anyway I, I saw the website probably a year and a half ago but I had forgotten about it <clears throat> so I went back and looked at it again and uh, you can see here's a picture from their website it's basically a, a, a tarp that goes over top of the canvas uh, bed and I think it's insulated and it's waterproof and you put it over top and it, it supposedly really helps uh, keep it warm in, in the winter and it helps reduce an awful lot of the uh, condensation in the winter because of the insulation factor. It's also apparently very helpful in the summer to keep it cooler because if you're set up in the summer and then the, the blazing sun hits on that thing it's going to be like an oven in there and the gizmo has a, like a reflective surface that will help reflect the sun away and then the insulation that's built into it will help to keep it cooler. So overall, you know, this was an experiment for us. We're still learning all about this, you know, RV living and especially in a hybrid. We really like it a lot because it's a lot smaller and easier to tow. But then when you get here, it opens up into twice the size because of the, the slide, big four foot slide. And one of those beds, we actually have one at each end. So we really like it a lot, but I was concerned about sleeping in, in the cold. And so far it's working now I wouldn't want to do zero in in here you know but uh, 20 25 like we did last night it's actually working so we're very happy with that so I'm going to invest in a gizmo sorry I don't have uh, don't have it for you to show you or review it I'm just all I'm just going by the website but I'm going to invest in a gizmo and see what happens I think it's really going to work so now let me give you a little bit of an update <clears throat> I did the first part of this video like two days after we arrived here at my son's house. It's now been about a week and we only have a couple days left until we head home. But I mentioned in the earlier part of the video that we were heading into two more days of rain. And that happened and it rained two more days and what really surprised me was that we hardly had any condensation all during that rainstorm. I don't know what the difference was because the first rainstorm it was just dripping from the ceiling in the second rainstorm there was hardly any condensation at all I don't know if it's just because there was less humidity in the air in general or what but it really surprised me um, <clears throat> so what we have discovered here is that we really can we've been sleeping very comfortably once I just stopped the dripping <laughs> we really can survive here in the cold now, like I said I wouldn't want to you know spend a couple of uh, zero degree nights here but when it's just below freezing, a few, few degrees below freezing, it's still working fine. The biggest issue that we have found is the amount of propane that we go through. It's absolutely amazing how fast we're burning through it because when you think about it, that, that's the entire end of the trailer that's completely open and it's just covered with a piece of plastic or a piece of canvas. That'd be like taking out one of your great big you know, thermal pane windows in your house that's very well insulated and covering it with just a piece of plastic or just a piece of canvas all the heat goes right out through there so I and the uh, 20 pound propane tanks that we use they cost $18 a piece and we are going through them <laughs> two days one of them lasts two days so we're basically spending nine dollars a piece so that's uh, nine times thirty what two hundred and seventy dollars a month we would be spending on propane if we were living here full-time in the, in the cold that's a bit excessive so I really think that the gizmo on top is going to help an awful lot because you get the most of the your heat loss through the roof through the ceiling so I think that'll help an also awful, awful lot but uh, pop-up gizmo also has what they I forget what they call it now but it's an insulated wall that goes around on the inside you can see it here it's uh, it's supposed to greatly reduce the amount of heat loss and make it much warmer in there so I think that we are probably going to get not only the one for the roof but also the one for the walls um, now I haven't tried these yet this is not uh, a review 
how can I review them? I haven't even tried them yet. It's not an endorsement. I'm not selling them. I'm just telling you about something that I think might be a solution to a problem I've discovered. And uh, if and when I do get them, I will review them for you. But I don't know exactly when that will be. Uh, but any, at any rate, when I do, I'll review it for you. I'm also curious if any of you have used the gizmos and um, what kind of results you have gotten. I would be very interested in hearing whether they really work or not. So that's the plan. Going to get the gizmos. It's, I think it's going to help a lot in the winter and I think it'll also help in the summer to keep it cooler in there. So uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, watch me <laughs> experiment with things and learn things, then please like the video and subscribe. And uh, like I said, if you've had any experience with the gizmo, please let me know. All right, you be blessed.